The helicopter is um, approximately 100 feet long if you count from the main rotor blade tip to the tail rotor blade tip and we can take off with uh, weights in excess of 69,000 pounds. It's essentially the size of a school bus just with rotor blades on top and at the tail. Uh, the MH-53 Echo is uh, primarily for airborne mine countermeasures um, and secondarily does heavy lift slash humanitarian aid. The world today, mines can be complicated. They can have lots of different sensors and things like that uh, to try to detect ships and blow them up. We try to replicate those noises or sounds or whatever else in an attempt to either detonate the mines or we use sonar to go find the mines so that we can then later detonate them through other means or tell EOD about them. So because it is so large, we're able to store you know, pallets upon pallets of supplies if we're doing the disaster relief for FEMA, places that get hit by hurricanes, floods. We can take up to 55 passengers uh, in the helicopter itself, so we can do lots of evacuations of places if needed. We can bring lots of water and food supplies. Just the logistical aspect of this helicopter uh, provides a lot of opportunity in a humanitarian situation. Uh, it, I believe it's one of the most versatile aircraft out there. Yes, it's large and heavy, but we're also showing that we can do almost any missions that we set our mind to. Like with the Bambi buckets, we just tested them successfully and became the first aircraft on the East Coast capable of firefighting. So not only can we do heavy lift, mine countermeasures, we can now do firefighting as well. So overall, the helicopter is extremely important, uh, especially to the Navy right now, um, in terms of its ability to uh, execute the Airborne Mine Countermeasures mission, it's incredibly important. We fill a gap that isn't quite filled by any other system at the current moment, and um, because of that, uh, we definitely need to keep uh, ready and uh, trained up at all times so that we can execute if needed.